for Fit for Good with another online all seated session for you. Today we're developing functional strength, mobility and core stability. Seated sessions are a great option for those of you who are dealing with injuries, limited mobility or balance issues. Please enjoy, have fun and I hope you will find those sessions truly useful. We will start with a well-rounded warm-up to get into the swing of the workout. We need to make sure that our joints and muscle groups are well warm up. Then we'll get into the strength training with the format of a compound movement. We will be doing four pairs of movements to target your overall functional strength and core stability. Then we will finish off with gentle stretching routine. All you need for today's session is a glass or bottle of water. Please keep yourself hydrated and a pair of light dumbbells. I'm using a pair of tomato cans today. So, without any further ado, let's begin by sitting nicely and correctly in those chairs. Sit towards the edge or middle of the chair with feet flat, toes pointed forward or slightly out, chin is forward, shoulders are rolled up, back and down, chest is forward, stomach is flat and tight. From this position, I'd like you to go for some gentle and slow marching. When you do marching, you are trying to keep the alignment of your joints. So we are not marching with knees going crossway, your knees is going up and down in a straight line from your joint, your hip joint. That's it. Three, two, one. Relax. Now let's open to the side in straight line and back down. Those arms are flying out and back down. Fly out and back down. Now try and clap and back down. Try and clap and back down. If you don't reach all the way up, that's absolutely fine. Go as far as you can. Three, two, one, relax. Now I'd like you to lift those arms to a T position and now clap forward and back. Clap forward and back. Let's do that again and relax. Well done. Now I'd like you to go for lean forward gently and come back up. If you wish, put your palms on your knees. Let's warm up this lower back and up gently forward and up. And now we will go side bend and up, side bend and up, side bend and up. And last one and up. Now I'd like you to imagine you're holding a baby and you're lulling that baby to sleep but with a really full range of a rotational twist from left to right. That's it. Three, two, one and relax. Now I'd like you to go for some nice kicks with your arms, it goes like that, and up, back and up. Those are the tricep kicks where your elbows stay fixed, pointed back, and then you only align your arms in line with your shoulders, and then you flex, stretch and flex, stretch and flex. Last one and relax. Great job. Now I'd like you to lift forward and go back down. As you lift, I'd like you to start kicking. Kick and down. Change leg and down. Kick and down. And alternate. Three, two, one. Relax. Now I'd like you to glide to work on that hip. We're doing hip opener. 
So we're doing one at a time to work on each side of the hips. Glide slowly and back to midline. If you wish, you can help with your arms. There we go. If your arms are free, you might wish to go for some chest press. So, as you keep on hip opening, you would like to stretch your arms and reverse. Stretch your arms and reverse. Three, two, one, and relax. Wonderful job. Now, let's take care of those ankles. Key to your balance. Toes, and now your heels are up. Then, on your heels, toes are up. We'd like to call these toes, heels, rock. And go for as many as you can. You don't have to rush it. If you feel nicely coordinated, try and add shoulder press, shoulder press, shoulder press. That's it. If you wish, you could drop those elbows all the way down to release the tension in your shoulders. Three, two, one, relax and shake, pat. I hope you feel ready for the main part of this session. You are warm and we need to get into it. I'll see you shortly for the workout. Trust you're ready. Let's conquer together two rounds of four pairs of compound strength movements to improve your overall body strength. Each round will last only six minutes. The format of today's interval strength training is as follows. Two back-to-back -back movements, which will last each 20 seconds. Then you will have your 40 seconds of rest. So, you will be working out for 40 seconds and you will be resting for 40 seconds before we move on to the next pair of movements. It is important to keep your focus. I will very quickly show your movements. The first one is your chest press. If you wish, grab your dumbbells and replicate those movements with me. For the chest press, you would like to bring your, your elbows up parallel to the floor, you keep your dumbbells in a straight line, wrists are straight, they are not folded down or up, and from here you will press to full extension in front of your chest and you will pull back, try and squeeze those shoulder blades on the way back. 20 seconds of chest press, then immediately you will have your shoulder press up and down to 90 degrees. If you wish to release the pressure, you could really drop your elbows down and then straight push up. Next pair will be your deadlift with knees up, but weighted lifts, knees lifts. So what, how we do the deadlift? You would like to put your cans in between your feet. You will lean, grab, and you will perform the deadlift. So it's a nice lean forward and up with weights. Your weights do not go up, they stay there. Your arms are only there to control the weights, but you are not lifting with arms, you are actually pulling up your entire torso using the strength in your core muscles and glutes. So you're lifting up with stomach tight and you are lowering those weights down only to a point where your back stays straight. Then 20 seconds of that will be paired with knees up. You will put your weights on your knees or a little bit over and then you will simply lift the knee up. Your arms here do not do any job, they only keep those weights stable and you lift those weights by using the strength in your quadriceps. So every time you lift a knee up, 
try and go really close to your chest use your power in your in your quadriceps the front of your thighs and you really will keep your stomach nice and flat third pair will be your bent over paired with tricep kicks so you will have a nice wide stance you will have your arms stretched and weights in between your knees then you can lean gently forward and you will pull those weights and release pull so that your elbows don't really flare out but they travel really close to the side of your body and pull down and up this is your bend over for 20 seconds then you will really have to go back into a stretched position so you don't lean you come back to a neutral stretched position and then you will have to keep your elbows pointed like so and fixed then you will start kicking your weights and that's your triceps kicks we are developing strength in your triceps and last pair that's your fourth pair will be your side to side so your weights are in be in between your chest or down your belly button wherever you feel more comfortable then you will twist from side to side and that will be for 20 seconds then you will be doing rotational throws so you will imagine you're holding a bucket of water and you really splash it over someone or something who knows then same rotational throw rotational throw rotational throw we are working on your core stability performing these movements so those are your four pairs 20 seconds of each movement and then 40 seconds of well-deserved break let's do it together we can we will begin with the chest press grab yourself a nice pair of weights and take the position three two one press and pull squeeze those shoulder blades press and pull keep your stomach flat and your back straight only 10 seconds left pull and push three two one now it's time for shoulder press if you wish release the pressure by pulling down those elbows or for those of you who find it easy come to the 90 degrees of hold that's fine three two one and relax great job a little pressure built into your shoulders into your upper back and we are developing that very necessary strength in your upper arms and upper back you've got your 40 seconds break it's almost halfway now and we have to get ourselves ready for the deadlift bring your dumbbells between your knees and get yourself ready to lean down and come back up to neutral position you have to have your stomach flat and tight three two one lean and up lean down as far as you can until your back stays straight if it starts rounding you have to reverse up as you lean down you exhale three two one it's time for your knees up put your weights on the knees and let's start lifting those knees up do as many as you wish as long you don't rush it but you really go for a full range of movements knees up to your chest three two one relax wonderful job everyone you have got your 40 seconds break next pair of movements that's your third pair it's a bent over row with tricep kicks that's it we're working on back and triceps here get yourself ready wide stance you would like to lean forward gently tighten that stomach back is straight no curves there and stretch your arms between your knees three two one 
pull and release pull and release that's it you're not looking down your your chin is not dropped you would like to look in so that your neck stays in a nice neutral position three two one keep your elbows there start kicking kick those weights let's build some nice strength in your triceps that's where the skin usually starts going a bit soft three two one and relax and that's how we try to defeat those bat wings pair number four well done so far we are going for side to side so bring your dumbbells you still have got your 20 seconds of break left out of your 40 seconds break and put them either in front of your tummy or in front of your chest so like this or like this you're not stretching those arms in five seconds we'll go from side to side three two one when i say side to side i'm not moving the dumbbells i'm really twisting my entire torso from hip to hip from hip to hip that's it five seconds go ahead three two one and now throw 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 this bucket of water let's do it nice throws you will feel the stomach muscles working to keep you in balance so you don't really fall off the chair three two one great job that's it four pairs of strength and core movements completed well done please have your break and have a sip of water and then we'll do round two together exactly the same four pairs of movements i hope you find it fun and useful it is important to keep working out so that you maintain that full body strength that's what we are aiming at today especially if you wish to have slightly longer break please pause this video if not let's go and do round two together i will reset the timer and please prepare for 20 seconds of chest press followed by 20 seconds of shoulder press so chest press followed by shoulder press three two one chest press push and pull squeezing your shoulder blades push full stretched arms and pull push and pull that's the movement what you want to think about is keeping your back straight and stomach stomach tight three two one and now shoulder press that's it squeeze as many repetitions as you can with the correct form remember keeping your back straight chin forward and stomach nice and tight and flat three two one wonderful job relax shake pat and you've done it strong shoulders and strong upper back next pair is your deadlift for really nice strong lower back and stomach muscles we will prepare for the deadlift you could either leave your dumbbells between your feet or hold them in your arms and only bend down to the point where your back stays straight then you reverse up using the strength in your stomach three two one exhale on the way down and up lift exhale on the way down and up lift the deadlift trains also your glutes because you are using them to lift up as well as your stomach muscles and lower back three two one place those weights on your knees and start lifting your knees up that's it 
nice strong quadriceps push those knees to the chest and keep your stomach tight three two one relax well done next pair pair number three is your bent over row with tricep kicks i'll remind you for the bent over row you want a wide stance you would like to have your dumbbells between your knees and slight lean forward then you will really pull those dumbbells to travel as close as possible to the side of your body and then you will release three two one let's begin 20 seconds of bent over row keep your wrists straight and don't really flare like this your elbows they travel as close as possible point them back really point those elbows back three two one and now hold it there and start kicking your weights try and not shrink like this your neck is nice and long don't lift your shoulders up three two one and relax well done everyone that is a little bit of awkward feeling but it does really load your triceps well relax shake and prepare yourself for pair number four that is your side to side with a full rotational twist and then we'll do the rotational throws we will be working on obliques muscles predominantly another very important superficial core muscle get yourself ready with the side to side dumbbells in front of your belly or chest three two one it is not necessary for me to remind you probably but always keep your back straight and keep breathing do not hold your breath at all throughout the workout <sighs> you have to hear your breathing three two one relax and now let's throw throw really throw with a full range of movement it's a rotational throw so imagine you really splash someone who is sitting on your left or on your right hand side let's do two more one and two great job everyone i hope you found it fun and you really enjoyed it well done for completing two rounds of this workout i will see you shortly for gentle stretching we'll complete today's session with gentle stretching routine take a nice seated position and spread your arms out filling your lungs inhale deeply and when you're ready exhale out pressing those palms together draw down midline and shake yes now i'd like to stretch one arm out to the side and then across your chest and push hold it for three to five seconds relax out to the side across your chest and now push it even closer to your chest nice stretch for your arms triceps and relax now i'd like you to stretch one arm up flex in your elbow and with the opposite arm you would like to help it to increase that stretch by pushing that joint to go in line or even behind your ear line and relax the opposite arm up flexed now you are helping by pushing that bone so that your arm which is flexed goes beyond the ear line and relax now into a T position squeeze those shoulder blades now grab hold of the backrest and look up your tailbone is up as well your chest is forward and now reverse this stretch 
hold your fingers interlace them together in front of your chest push your tailbone down between your legs and drop this chin down and relax now I'd like you to stretch one arm up and overhead and bend to the side look up hold one arm on the chair for better balance and relax now let's do the opposite arm up and over look up and relax now I'd like you to push your palms onto your knees really being stable and lean forward now try to relax your neck between your legs and feel that every vertebra has been open one at a time nicely and gently relax that back and the neck and up you get slowly wonderful job now we'll twist to the left inhale in the middle exhale twist looking over your left shoulder hold this position it's great for your spine flexibility come back to the middle inhale exhale as you twist looking over your right shoulder and slowly come back to the middle arms up into a y down slowly draw your elbows into a w now stick your elbows to the side of your body into an l and interlace behind and really pull and relax those arms shake and i'd like you to stretch your cuffs hamstrings and glutes now let's start by pointing toes of the stretch leg forward so your toes are pointed the ceiling inhale and try and touch those fingers your fingers are touching to your, your toes you're leaning forward if you can't go that far you can lean towards your bent knee which is there for stability come back up and switch legs one leg forward toes are pointed up you might already feel the stretch at this position therefore you don't really need to go and lean forward the lean forward will only exaggerate that stretch even further for those of you who are a bit more flexible so you decide if you how far and if you really wanted to lean forward great and come back up now I'd like you to go diagonally one knee is down the other one is there 90 degrees for stability and try and grab hold of that foot bring that heel to your glutes to feel even further that stretch for those of you who have less flexibility this might be enough stretch already change direction like so or like so you've noticed i've grabbed hold of the chair so i don't lose balance and fall that would be ridiculous if that happens to me and we don't want that to happen to anyone safety is priority so always grab hold of the chair and relax pat yourself and give yourself a big round of applause well done for completing today's strength session we've been working on full body strength mobility and stability i truly hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to share it with your friend spread the word like it on our youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe there feel free to leave your comments on our facebook page or website especially if you wish on our youtube channel all three sources are a great choice to recommend us to spread the word and make more people to join and share the well-being of exercising together thank you so much for joining me today stay well and stay safe